So I already showed you how to make a bird feeder using pine cones and bird seed. This is a different kind of bird feeder. As you can see, it's made out of a recycled container, which is a great activity for young people so that, because they can see how you can actually reuse something that would be thrown away. And if you note, it can hang outside and it has a little perch for the birds and the flap actually lifts up and protects the bird seed from getting wet. These are the uh, materials that you would need. Some bird seed, a twig or stick, some natural jute or twine, and you're gonna want something that will actually be able to make holes in the carton. So if you're doing this for the children, you can use uh, an awl, this is called an awl, or if you want the children to punch the holes themselves, you can use a, a one-hole puncher for that. And then a pan or something that actually will just enlarge the hole a little bit where the stick goes through the container. You'll need a box cutter. Um, and you'll want to do this for the children because you don't want them to cut with it. And then, of course, um, your, your, your uh, container that you'll use. The first thing we're going to do is cut out uh, the container. So I'm going to draw where I'm going to cut it. Okay, and then I'm going to take my handy X-Acto knife and I'm actually going to cut it. So then I'm going to actually put holes for my um, twine. So I'm going to mark where they go first just so that I remember and I don't miss a spot. So I'm going to do two up here. I'm going to do one here, but I'm actually going to go through from the inside. So then I'm going to have one here for the perch, and then on the other side for the perch. And then I'm going to actually have one more hole right up there. So I'm going to start actually with the awl and make these holes. So I'm just going to punch it through like this, wrap it around, there we go. Make sure it's a nice size hole. Again, just make sure that this is very sharp. So just make sure that your fingers are totally out of the way when you're doing this. So I'm going to take this pen and I'm going to stick it through the bottom ones to make them a little bit larger because Remember that this is where my stick is going to be going. Okay, you can see that nice size hole there. Okay, so the first piece of twine that I'm going to attach is this piece here. And this is what will actually keep the bird seed dry if it's raining. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to thread it through the top. Okay, then I'm going to reach inside and pull it down that. And then I'm going to thread it through, notice that, from the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a nice knot here. Keep it fairly tight if you can. There we go. I've cut myself a fairly large piece here because I want this to be able to hang down from the tree. So I'm just going to take my container and again, I've made these holes nice and large so that it's pretty easy to just kind of put it through. And then again, you're going to want to tie a pretty substantial knot. So really pull it as hard as you can. There we go. So now we're going to make the perch. So I'm going to take my stick here and make sure you have one that's a little bit longer than you need. You're going to have to experiment a little bit. There were some little knots there that I didn't realize I had. So it's okay. That's why you want a longer stick. So the last thing you're going to want to do is put in your bird seed so that you can hang it. So I'm going to lift it up like this and I have it in this little cup here. I'm going to stick the cup in as far as I can because I don't want it to create a big mess. And then I'm just 
just going to spread it all out in there really nicely. And just so that you know, you can actually cut a window on the other side as well. So then you'll have two perches. If you would like to watch more of our videos, you can click the subscribe button. If you would like more information about heart, you can find us at teachhumane.org.